Hi Pisces, welcome to your reading. How are you? I hope everything is fine. This is your general reading using tarot. I will try to get as many details as possible. Now let's see what do we have here. I will talk about the current energies and the energies in the near future. What are the energies around you? Seven of Cups, lots of options for you. One of them is wish fulfillment. I think your wish is your visualization manifestation will come true and you will feel content. I have very great news, in fact. You have abundance, love and um, happiness around you. You have just to tap into this energy and accept it. Now, what is something that you should be aware of as well? The Empress. I have only the best news for you, in fact, and I'm very happy. This is Taurus, Libra, and Water Signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It might be your energy as well, but I think you will be in this energy of uh, great loves. Uh, probably you are connecting or will be connecting with somebody whom will be your life partner and you may create a family with this person as well because I see the Empress energy here. Some of you might have uh, some initial confusion in the beginning, not knowing exactly if this is the right relationship for you, but I think deep inside you feel happy and content. What is something affecting you in your subconscious? Uh, you want stability, prosperity, you want long-term commitment. Some of you had some big dreams in the past or had created a family with an important person, but it didn't go that right and uh, everything seems broken now, unstable. And you might be thinking still about that, especially if you had created a family with this person. What was the main challenge in the past? Resistance. Somebody was resisting here, was not being that vulnerable or resisting to commit until you got to know the truth. I have Leo here as well. Uh, Ace of Swords and the Four of Wands. Your hope is to celebrate the love, to be in a connection, in a happy and a stable one. Some of you are thinking about relocating as well. Now with that Ace of Swords, you want clarity. You want a partner that speaks the truth. You want a conversation that is heart to heart, without lies, without cheating and um, with lots of transparency in communication. Now let's see about the energy around you in the near future. The energy in the near future. Let's see what is it. The moon, maybe another Pisces. I have earth as well and water here. Two of swords. This is emphasized. As I said, this is a very good energy. But in the beginning, you might have some doubts. You might not be well, uh, very convinced if this is the right partner. I think that this person might trigger some insecurities or worries that you thought were uh, vanished before, but they are still there and this person might provoke those insecurities and that might make you a bit indecisive if you should uh, follow your heart or not or uh, choose this person or another because you might have options, lots of options as well around the time you meet this one important person. That's what I'm getting. There's a new love offer here, a new beginning in love, Ace of Cups. This is talking about new beginnings in love. And there's so much... There's so much love here, in fact, that you might not grasp or comprehend in the beginning. Let's see at the bottom. I have two of swords. Yes, exactly. Six of pentacles, the hangman. You might need some time. Or you may think that you need some time to reflect and then come to some conclusions. Okay, this was the general reading. Now I will continue with extended. Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful.